प्रेम पुढे गेल्या नंतर चार तास चक्र वगैरे झाल्यावर सी एस टी फाय झिरो In this presentation, we are going to discuss following points. We will start with the introduction of operating system and then we will discuss the various types of systems uh, uh, like maintenance system, set box system, multi processor, distribution, day time, hand, uh, hand and system, and after we will uh, conclude our presentation. Let us start with the introduction of operating system. It is a program, it is a system program that runs all the time on any system. We cannot uh, uh, think a system without operating system. So, by definition, we can say an operating system is a program that manages and controls the computer hardware. The basic goal of operating system is to provide the interaction between the user and the hardware. It also provides a this is for efficient program and act as an intermediary between the computer user and the computer hardware. Our data system is a large and complex program. So it must be created piece by piece. And each of these pieces should be well uh, laminated portion of the system which can be defined input, output and the functions. Let us explore open this now again. I already uh, explained that it is a system program that acts as an intermediary between a user of the computer and the computer hardware. The basic goals of operating systems are it executes user programs and makes solving user problems easier and it makes the computer system convenient to use. It provides the mechanism by which the computer hardware can be used efficiently. Before we start the various types of systems, we should know what are the basic components of every computer system. Basically, there are four components, components of every computer system. These four components are computer hardware, the operating system, the application program, and the user itself. The computer hardware means like uh, uh, there are various resources that are connected to the computer system like um, uh, keyboard, monitor, um, IoT devices, IO devices, control devices. This can be uh, placed in a category that, that is hardware. The hardware provides a basic computing resources. The next component of the operating system is application program. These application programs define the way in which the system resources are used to solve the computing problem of the user. The example of application programs are compiler, database systems, video games, business programs, etc. Now, the other component is operating system. The operating system, we, I, we know that the operating system is act uh, and community between the computer user and the hardware. So it controls and coordinates the use of the hardware on the various application programs for the various users. And the last component is user, it may be the people that is working on the system, it may be a machine known or any other computer. Using this diagram, we can say what are the various four components and what are the uses of the four components. And the lowest level there is a computer hardware and the, the highest level there is a user. Every user is using one of the applications on the system. Like user one is using compiler, user two is using other users, user three, text editor and so on. These applications run over a platform and that is the operating system. We can say, uh, by starting the diagram, we can see that the computer hardware and user, they are interacting with each other through this system software that is operating system. We can understand the concept of operating system, it acts as a government. Like a government, the, go the government decides the policy of the various functioning units, uh, the various functioning units, it provides 
provides and it decides that rules and regulation of every component. It provides a mechanism by which various components of the government are interacting with each other. Similarly, a complete operating system at every government it simply provides an environment within which other programs can do useful work. It provides a platform by which other programs can interact with each other. It decides the policies and rules for every application so that this application can work efficiently. And lastly, it controls, manages, and coordinates all the activities of the system. So, uh, by examining this task of the system, we can say that uh, operating system acts as a government for every computer system. Now we have to discuss the system of the operating system. An uh, operating system is a resource allocator. We know that there are components of the operating system and one of the components is hardware. We can say uh, all hardware are resources that are connected to the system to provide the way by which the application program uses these hardware. Resource allocator means Whenever a process is executing, it needs some set of resources for execution. But these resources are limited. So, the distribution of these resources must be managed and controlled by the system so that these resources can be distributed among various processes one by one. And every process gets at least some set of resources so that it can start execution. And and whenever these resources are not useful for that process, these resources can be released by that process and, and this release process can be allocated to another process. So we can say in this type of task, like resource allocation, is done by the OS. It also acts as a control program. It controls the execution of the user program and operation of IoT devices. Let us discuss the computer system architecture. There are various ways to categorize a computer system and one way to categorize various computer systems as how many number of processors are used in the computer system. On the basis of this criteria, we can categorize computer, uh, operating, uh, computer system like single processor system and multi processor system. As the name implies, in case of single processor system, there is only one main CPU or processor in the computer system and is capable of, of executing a general purpose inspection set, including inspection from user processes. Almost all systems have other special purpose processors as device integrity processors, IO processors, graphics processors. All these special purpose processors run a limited inspection set and do not run user domains. These type of special purpose processors are only responsible for uh, executing the command that are associated with the specific device. But in case of single processor system, the main CPU is only responsible for executing general purpose instruction. Sometimes these special purpose processors are managed by the operating system in that the operating system sends their information about their next task and monitor their status. The next type of uh, computer system is multi processor system. We know that we use single processor system, there is only single processor available into the computer system, but in case of multi processor system, there are more than one CPU available for executing the purpose inspection. This type of system are also known as parallel system and parallel couple system. The multi processor system have three main advantages, and these main advantages are increased throughput, economy of scale, and increased language. If there are more than one CPU available for executing the task, it means it can increase the throughput. Because more and more CPU are available, economy of scale. 
the basic idea behind the multiple system is we are sharing some expensive peripheral devices. So whenever you want to scale the system, it is very easy and very economic. By this reliability, it implies that whenever any system crashes, any uh, total that crashes in case of a multiple system, it will not uh, harm the entire system. Only it will decrease the performance of the model, model performance of the system and the task of that system can be occupied by another available problem for the same system. Now we are going to discuss linear system. We will start with a simple base system and we will end with the handheld device. So the idea computer was uh, bad system. This type of system was very large and size. The common input devices of this type of system were car headers, tape drives. The common output devices uh, of this type of system were car headers, tape drives, and car drives. There are there are there are no types of interaction between the user and the system or computer. The users depend on much data, contain data, program, and some other information. Because the computer was very simple and needed to was to transfer and control from one job to another job. So our kind of operations were performed in the case of bad system. For the users to take one card and submit to the operator, this one card, the card contains the program itself, some data report, some data and the control information. The operator would store the program to backend with similar requirements and has the control system available the operator would run each batch. The output from each job would be sent back to the appropriate program. So one of the limitations of this simple batch system is in the memory only one job can be at a time. If you want to execute another job, the previous job must be set out from the memory and the new job must be set in the memory. It means only single job, single process can be in the memory. The next type of operating uh, system was multi program based system. The basic difference between the multi program based system and simple based system is in case of multi program based system, operating system keeps several jobs in the memory at a time. Operating system picks and begins the execution one of the jobs in the memory. If the job may have to wait for some other task, like if a job is waiting for the file operation to be completed, it begins to another job and so on. When the first job finishes the waiting, it gets CPU back and it starts execution again. The advantage of one program bad system is that all system resources are less efficiently compared to the simple bad system and switching between or among various uh, job process, process in their memory is done automatically. Using this diagram, we can say several jobs are kept in the memory at the same time and the CPU is multiplied among these jobs. In the memory, some uh, portion of the memory is subscribed by the operating system and another memory area uh, is available for the job. At this, uh, Charles, there are four jobs available in the memory. You see, you can start with uh, job goal. And uh, this job, job one is uh, waiting for some IO operations to be completed, it will be the job two, and so on. So, what are the operating system features needed for multi programming? The first requirement is the IO is being supplied by the system. The memory management, uh, the, the system must allocate the memory to several jobs. The system must choose among several jobs ready to run and the allocation of devices are run by the OS. The next category of computer systems are time sharing systems. This, this type of system are also known as interactive uh, systems. 
Bisa lawan kita naik tension sama mereka yang lain Ini tanya dari sesuatu Jadi, akhirnya ini Karena orang Tak ada yang menunjuk Ya, betul Itu saya itu Jauh juga naik tension sama mereka yang lain Ini Mereka yang lain 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 It decides when she feels to take from one job to another job from the basis of the time and then given to every person. It means every person is allowed to execute, execute only a given time stand. Whenever the time stand expires, the CPU should take from one job to another job. It means it, it, it uh, gives the frequent switching knowledge. The user may, at the same time, the user may interact this e process program while running. The CPU is multiplied among several jobs that are kept in the memory on and on its way. Whenever it is needed, the jobs are kept in and set out of the memory to the disk. Online information between the user and the system is provided like when the user, uh, when the operating system finishes the execution of one command, it sees the next control statement from the user's keyboard. The next category of systems are desktop system. This system are also known as PC or personal computers. These personal computers are dedicated to a, to a single user. The common input devices are remote, mic, display screens, smart meters. And it provides uh, the degree of responsiveness uh, of this type of system is very high. This desktop system can allow technology developers for large operating systems. Often individuals uh, have stored to the computer and do not need advanced security guidance of protection features. It may run several different types of operating systems like Windows, X, OS, Unix, and Linux. Next category of systems are parallel systems. Uh, we know that in case of multi multiprocessors, there are multiple processors available in the same system, and this type of system are also known as parallel systems. So the multiple system which has more than one thing is slower communication. This system are IP level systems. Each processor shares memory. Both uh, processors in the system share the memory and a clock, computer clock. Communication usually takes place so that it can be very constant. The advantage of this type of parallel system are to increase so good to not stay and increase reliability. There are two types of parallel systems. One is symmetric multiprocessing parallel system and another one is asymmetric multiprocessing. So what are the features of symmetric multiprocessing parallel system? In case of symmetric multiprocessing, each processor runs a uniform copy of operating system. Many processes can run at once without performance detection. Most modern operating systems support symmetric multiprocessing. But in case of asymmetric multiprocessing, each process is assigned a specific task. It uses the concept of master and scale processes. The master processes can be used to allocate the rest of the same processes and same processes uh, execute at given task. This type of system are more common in estimated large systems. So next type of system are distributed systems. In distributed systems, uh, it distributes the computation among several physically uh, located processes. It provides a concept of loosely coupled system. It means each processor has its power power memory. Processor communicates with each other through various communication lines such as high speed buckets and telephone lines. The advantage of distributed systems are the store sharing, computation speed up, reliability, and communication. The main advantage of distributed systems is the store sharing because the digital devices and the store are very expensive. We cannot assign the dedicated resources to every every processor in the system, so uh, we can share this extensive resources among various hosts. But this distributed system needs some infrastructure. The local area networks and wide area networks are an example of 